Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So this video is broken down into two parts. This is the first half of the video where we are going to learn how to install uh, Windows subsystem for Linux okay, on your Windows 10 device. And uh, the second half, uh, like how you can install Node, MongoDB, Nginx Server, Redis. WSL is available for your Windows 10 device as well as for Windows Server, Windows Enterprise. I will leave the link in the description section. The first thing which we need is for the normal uh, Windows uh, that is WSL 1 you need to have uh, the fall uh, creators update that is uh, build 16215 WSL2 you need to have a build version of 18917 for this you have to join the insider program let us see how you can check the uh, version of your windows right not version the build so I'm going to open command prompt here I'm going to type VER that is for version you can see I am in the build 18990 I am in the insider program I'm in the fast ring try WSL2 what you have to do is go to start and uh, go to settings you have to sign up for the windows insider program click on update and security in the last option you can see uh, you have windows insider program click on that and you have to just sign up for the insider program and you have to make sure you are in the fast build once you have done this you have to restart your system so this is a first requirement for wsl2 and uh, for wsl1 there is no requirement uh, but you do have to have uh, the false created update so the next thing is how to enable it click on start and type turn windows feature on or off click on that i'm going to maximize this from the last third option right you can see here Windows subsystem for Linux you have to enable it enable a uh, virtual machine platform this is for WSL2 if you are running just WSL1 you don't have to enable it and with this what you can do is you can enable Hyper-V this is optional I'll just leave it as it is for now because these are the two requirements which we need this is now the system has been restarted like I already said for WSL1 you don't have to enable uh, virtual machine platform but for WSL2 we do have to enable it now to install the distro right so head over to uh, Microsoft store and click on search and type WSL and hit enter here you can see a few of the distros which are available so I'm going to choose Ubuntu I'm going to install uh, both Ubuntu versions so it will take some time in the meanwhile uh, let us look at a uh, few of the WSL commands so the first command is WSL minus L minus V so uh, we can see we don't have any distros which is installed right I mean which we have installed right now but it is not uh, enabled right it is not uh, activated so I'm gonna run both the distros side by side now you can see installing and both are in running in WSL2 and you can see both are up and running I have to select the username password recon from the password so you can see both the distro has been initialized and it is up and running let me close it I will rerun this you can see both are in a running state right so it has been installed and uh, by default it took us WSL2 okay if I want to convert one of the distro to WSL1 I can do that or uh, by copying this command uh, I'll say WSL hyphen hyphen set version I'm going to copy the distro name and I'm going to type version 1 or version 2 if I select version 2 as it is already in version 2 it will give a quick reply I'll select version 1 it's going to convert it to version 1 and it's going to take some more time okay and in the meanwhile I'm going to open one more command prompt here let it run in the background if I run WSL minus L minus V right now you can see the first distro is converting and it's going to be converted to WSL1 and the second distro has been stopped right now because it is not in the running state right so uh, what you can do is by default if you want to make sure whatever the distros you are installing if you want to make sure it is in uh, WSL2 right you can do this WSL minus minus that is hyphen hyphen set default minus version and you're going to type version 1 or version 2 uh, I'm going to set it version 2 so here are the few of the commands I'm going to paste it in the comment section which you can have a look now if I want to set default as 1 which I can do here right but let me set it to default 2 right now okay so these are the commands which are available okay how you can check the distro I mean list of the distros which are being installed and how to convert them to version 1 to version 2 or uh, vice versa right or you can set the default version for all the distros which is being installed in the future right so let's see whether it has been converted yes it has been converted if I rerun the command again WSL2 minus 
L minus V. You can see Ubuntu has been converted to version 1 and uh, Ubuntu 1804 has been converted to version 2. I mean, it's by default version 2, right? If I rerun that, you cannot see any physical difference, but you know, in WSL2, they have introduced a new feature, right? I mean, initially in WSL1, they have strictly prohibited uh, developers not to uh, store or not to modify anything in the Ubuntu structure, right? But in WSL2, all your development files has to be stored in Ubuntu directories, right? Inside the Ubuntu uh, folders. So here in WSL1, it was a uh, Windows file structure was not I mean was able to access WSL I mean the Unix files but the Unix file was not able to access uh, from Unix you couldn't access to Windows right but it has been uh, reverted I mean it has been changed so you, from Windows you can make changes to your Unix files from Unix you can make changes to your Windows files there is no issue and how you can check this is type explorer.exe space dot a unique structure has been opened in uh, windows explorer right so you can modify you can do whatever you want right so you have full access to your unix directory okay this is a part one of the video so, so you have seen how to install wsl uh, you can check whether you're running wsl2 or wsl1 and how to convert from wsl1 to 2 or to 2 1 vice versa and check the leaf list of default distro installed so in the next video you're going to see how you can install uh, all your development softwares which includes node mongodb um, also uh, nginx redis etc okay so if there is any questions regarding this please do let me know in the comment section okay if you are not subscribed please subscribe to our channel and help us grow our channel so i hope this video helped you so until then bye bye